look at document management that is the next section we are going to talk about so in this section we will talk about how we can integrate dynamic crm4 with sharepoint for document management so as we are aware sharepoint is used for storing data and this is a tool from microsoft so you can easily link the dynamic crm with sharepoint and you can save the records that you have uploaded to crm system in your sharepoint so normally what happened is whenever you are uploading any documents in dynamic crm for any of the records say accounts or contact such as um, sales literature or uh, any other document for that matter they will be saved in your crm database so once crm is integrated with sharepoint instead of crm database the documents will be saved on your sharepoint database also you can access the crm docs from sharepoint so there will be a two way connection is created you can access from sharepoint as well so once it is available in the sharepoint you can visualize uh, this data we can create reports and also you can make dashboards and uh, visualize the data properly in sharepoint so these are the section we have under settings document management the document management settings then sharepoint side we can access on the link and sharepoint document location in your sharepoint account you can visual from here and uh, one new feature we have here is enable server based sharepoint integration we will see what it is so earlier once we link share uh, dynamic crm with sharepoint we use install link com list components that was the uh, uh, method we use in order to link the two technologies together now microsoft has come up with server based sharepoint integration that means you don't need a list component installed in order to link this together rather than you can integrate server to server sharepoint server to uh, crm server integration is possible so what all the pre requisite for integrating uh, dynamic crm with sharepoint first of all we need to have the licenses purchased for sharepoint and uh, uh, crm and also sharepoint need to be installed then the user who is setting up the integration must have system administrator privilege in crm as well as sharepoint and also you need to locate the exact sharepoint site or you need to create new sharepoint site location so the other pre requisite then we'll go ahead and set it up server based sharepoint integration so this is a, a new feature we have earlier and it is replacing list component you know integrated so for me in my crm it has been implemented already and it is very straightforward so we'll navigate to settings document management where we have see the settings so we won't see that option of here enable server base integration since is enabled for me so in the next picture we can see that we will define the deployment details and we will give the site details for me the sharepoint site available is uh, xfactor161.sharepoint.com that is my sharepoint location i need to mention that then i need to configure it if it is an enabled sharepoint site crm will link both together that's it's a very easy to uh, easy to use option so for me it is integrated after that i need to 